Good morning, guys. Welcome to week eight, day two tutorial one on fraud detection in e-commerce and credit card transaction. We're going to have a brief session on just introductory on terms and ways of fraud detection. And we're going to explore more on that. So let me share my screen and start. My screen visible for you to all. Can give me some direction. Is it visible? Okay, perfect. Thank you. This is an introductory session on fraud detection in e-commerce and credit card transaction. These are some of the outline that we try to cover in this session. Introduction, definition, and type of fraud. Fraud detection techniques. Uh, data source, uh, where, where can we get this data that we will use for fraud detection and implementation challenge so far, or implementation, what are the challenges we're trying to see? So let's start from introduction for detection, as you all obviously know. Fraud detection is a process that detects and prevents fraud. These are the men or uh, guys who may, person that's trying to make some to make some fraud acts, fraudsters, from obtaining money or property through false means. That false means might be have different meaning. It's a sort of activity. It's undertaken to detect. So fraud detection is. Uh, it's an activity to detect this attempt and to block from accessing or obtaining or to block that tra process of transaction or any from fraudulent act. Fraud detection uh, is a prevalent across banking level, but um, it's prevalent, especially and then the country level, but I'm prevalent to know uh, bank insurance, medical, government in terms like public sector as well as law enforcement sector life. Especially our focus is on the banking and maybe you know insurance, it, it might work, but especially on the banking for this which projects, it's on e-commerce, I think, or credit score. Fraud detection in e-commerce and credit card transaction involves so identifying and preventing fraud or fraudulent activities such as unauthorized transaction, identity theft or other deceptful practice. And that's before this, I want to ask you one question. Have you ever tried to open uh, yeah, which account? What's the main challenge? There are different wallet accounts. What's the main notice card? Requirement. Um, be happy if you, if you can make it somehow interactive. Uh, the main challenge is identity in and the mark. Uh, and approve, my, yes, why is the challenge of identity? I thank you, Tazazu. Why is Pioneer Learn and any other accounts? Identity of, because. Identity and in the Nasr Bidu fraud alarm actors. Lenoro Salamishu, the identifying your identity, identity and approval magnet, not a main challenge. So, Zigam, yeah, 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 yeah,
ይሆነን ሰው መስለው ገብቶ ይሆነ ነገር ማድረግ አካውንታቸውን አክሰስ ማድረግ ምናም በጣም ቻሌንጅ ስለሆነ ነው ባንኪንግ ሴክተር so that's the main challenge from here but it's possible to worry in that financial again uh, there are uh, different type of uh, route for specifically for e-commerce for example there's something called cnp uh, card not present fraud it's an authorized use of credit card information in online transaction where credit card uh, an authorized use of this credit cards where this credit card are not, are not actually present or they are not present but they try to authorize uh, use these cards to make some transaction this is card not present the card is not present at all but there are some numbers you might use previously to like actually on chilalu on misatwachu all online nasun tatakno somehow inte lamarag mi mokru nacho account take over demo ahun kadun indallo it cyber criminal gain access to user's account yelelan's account lela so take over adrugo beza typically through phishing that means identity uh by hone means aginto so lama takamo mokarno this is a account take over is on account and to take over adrugo beza transfer and unauthorized purchase madrag no phishing other is for fraudster use fake emails or website to trick users zim betam ta betergagami for sure uh, from your banking apps you get this an inquan personally ma kaw kentena smeselo idewulalu that's the main the main uh, reason you uh, know to get your internet email at you uh, or user personal information on aginto using that account take over and uh, somehow an authorized purchase la madrag malatno agat machu li aq ichilal have you ever encounter such betam betergagami sewoch ge dewulu neber zin kwallo magone dewulo ka tele no or tele birachun ka cbi no gablo cbi or account somehow atun ye chang ente mi gabal ente ekst asgeba endezi minam bilo yeso yentenen yeah so information personal information like bypass adrugo some transaction like that so mahalas no refund fraud it's manipulating the return and refund the process to obtain goods or money for for the rentally no he friendly fraud the people demo legitimate customer dispute the transaction to see these are the e-commerce fraud the, the, the other one is credit card fraud the first one here it, these are just examples you can go and explore more on this and the first one is skimming it's stealing credit card information through device attached to atm or point of sale terminals the next one information still madrag madatun card no present lik ziga ndaye no no similar to e-commerce involve unauthorized use of card detail online no uh, the card might not be present but they have some information on some cards they might use that App, uh, application fraud use stolen or fake identity to apply credit card uh, one challenge zim la makfat qedem yalqachu application for somehow credit card is at all not into much now take or store an identity to that no a play me other this law no kazin account but somehow challenging side on main part uh approved in another village of a little bit it's our identity because of the apply civic direct application about so let me know what it's not going to take over and we are not authorized access to users credit card account to make purchase this is very elementary stuff you can go and explore more on this just just to lay uh, some grounds for all of you session is fun ago impact uh, of fraud financial loss of it obviously the it will bring a financial loss costs to business and customers so it's direct mon monetary loss no here due to fraudulent transaction reputation damage for the banks if the, these acts are 
consistent or with the gaga mimi hono kono negative feedback on the company's reputation and this will lead to loss of customer and revenue uh, operational costs uh, so to prevent this uh, these companies banks and other sectors will allocate some budgets and costs to prevent this for the land act and for for the stars so uh, i will I will have some operational costs. This cost is associated with detecting and managing and recovering even after recover Lamarak. Some have the labor reserve minimum the Madrak Agal or Naga. Soon some cost us for different legal. What do you want to think? Uh, nah, this cost is operational cost. This are impact of out. The main parts that you're going to implement this in this week's project is detection techniques. The first detection is a rule-based system. It's a simple and predefined rules that will make the that specific activity to make with transaction or something. Uh, I will make it fraud of using some rules. For example, the, the system that use if then rules. If this is if this is if this happens, uh, uh, it's suspicious. Number or rule don't any matter. But the first one is a rule based one. The second machine learning like the one that you're trying to uh, the implement the week your project to implement. Let me argue more. The rule based is simple, predefined rule don't you know. Here I'm not some okay. You have any question? You can continue. I'm not able to see your the, the internal level in you. Full, full screen level. If it's not visible or it's pretty elementary stuff, just introductory sessions. If you have a question, then down, just open up your mic and you can talk. For detection techniques, the first one is simple, you can find rules in the corner below to find the other. You know, this is somehow rigid, but machine learning is more adaptive now, predictive model. No, based on the user level or specific that information about that transaction, I will predict that activity to be fraudulent or. Uh, not for the land activity, it uh, would identify we've done the pattern from previous informations. The other one is hybrid approach, it's combining rule, uh, the rule of two combined by Mara, rule based no machine learning, integrating the rule based system with machine learning to enhance detection <coughs> capability. Hang our rule based hybrid system, you let to the advantage in our work somehow. A rule based system light in the somehow in the telemite advantage, simplicity, no transparency, no easy to implement. Understand and link for quick adjustment somehow. I'm sorry, you can't relate to the home. Disadvantage to the moon, no lack of flexibility, high false positives. This at each other, man, it's flexible. I don't know, rigid can be rigid and often result in many fake alarms. For example, the, uh, the first one is velocity check. I'm not a regard, I'm in pencil, in Yamagar, alarm in some mentally than the Google transaction. They implemented a good Zunagar and check Lamara, Leonisha, the source of the money, Leonisha, maybe fraud, fraud, and check Lamara, channel, I'm sorry, there's a limit, right? It doesn't necessarily. Uh, back on the transaction method, I mentioned some limit on uh, the fraud when I'm act, but I'm uh, but I'm just but I'm but I'm a gummy. I'm thinking that the raga and nama, mukara katadaraga or design it's mega rectal with transaction might raise some alarm. These are the rules like under the own velocity in the hand. For example, specific rule like limiting the number of uh, transaction by a side, Kaziba like a hona. It might be intense, let's see, block. No, the other go to the other one, blacklist me, but the one, nazi, 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 you know, until the general, if that's blacklist, just on the list, just on the corner. Somehow, this no blacklist to me, Zagadjo, Milo, Nagar, 
ሀብሪድ እንትን ከሆነ ጥሩ ነው ሰማው ግን ይሄ ምንድነው ሪጀር ነው ማለት አንዳንድ ፎልስ ፖዚቲቭ ዛት ሚንስ ፎልስ ፖዚቲቭ ፎር ዚስ ኬዝ ምንድነው የሚሆነው ፍራውድ ነው ብሎ በጣም ብዙ እንትኖች ሊያመጣ ይችላል ማለት ነው የፍራውድ ሚሎናል ቼክ ነው ያለው የስ ብሎ ግን ያልፎ ሙሉ ሊኖር ይችላል ነው ፍራውድ ዛት እንትን ፕሮሰስ ላይስፈልገው ነው ማለት ነው ሰማው ሰማው system safe but no rigid no tan machine learning in fraud detection advantage it's advantage like you said it's adaptability and pattern recognition no advantage it's adaptability in pattern recognition ability to learn from data or in adapt to new fraud patterns mindinno kazi befit ketebasawacho ዴታዎች አይ ዊል ትራይ ቱ ላርን ኦር አዳፕት ሪኮግናይዝ ለማድረግ ይሞክራል ፓተርን ዘን አይስ ላይክ ኤኒ ማሽን ለርኒንግ አልጎሪዝም አይ ዊል ትራይ ቱ አዳፕት ኦር ሪኮግናይዝ አ ፓተርን ፍሮም ፕሪቪየስ ዴታ ፖይንትስ ኤንድ ኢትስ ዲስ አድቫንቴጅስ ኢትስ ሰማ ኮምፕሌክስ ኢትስ ናት አ ሲምፕል አስ ሩል ቤዝድ it needs for large data sets large data sets to make the model prediction accurate uh, you need to have a large data points to make generalization for the future transaction patterns techniques there are different techniques you might use supervised and supervised learning and neural network uh, options supervised on label data like just general generally the purpose is you uh, you will have the fraud and not fraud label or one and zero we will try to learn what are the patterns to make that transaction fraud fraud element or not and supervised learning models that identify anomaly from unlabeled data this is not some advisable because we are that if it's if it's somehow በጣም ፋይን ከሆነ እንስላል ግን ሰማው ተፈርበር ዶን ኢዝ ኖት ፕሪፈር ዋን ኒውራል ኔትወርክ ኮምፕሌክስ ሞዴል ዳት ሚ ኒክ ዩማን ብሬ ዚስ ኢዝ ፕሪቲ ዘ ኒውራል ኔትወርክ ዴፊኒሽን ነው ባት ፎር ዲፐር ፓተርን ሪኮግኒሽን ዊ ማይ ቲ ኒውራል ኔትወርክ ባት ተፈርበር ዶን ኢዝ ዘ ዋን ዳት ሞስትሊ ዩዝድ ቢኮዝ ኢትስ ቤዝድ ኦን ዘ ትራንዛክሽን ኤንድ ዘ ፍራውድ ላንድ አክትስ historic data from the transactions to make the, uh, the, the specific trans- transaction for client or not so okay logistic regression uh, some of the machine learning like you implemented these three on softunum and the black plan kids left yallu project to check the logistic regression is simple and inter- interpretable now <coughs> uh, linear regression uh, prediction for the logistic regression i think last uh, uh, risk level yeah week five i think for the trial logistic regression somehow classify them as the risk zim applicable no logistic regression of course there are the total example which ma'am karamit chulacho decision tree na random forest to no more three based model not to split the data into branches to make prediction random forest demo multiple three no minor or we will try to improve the accuracy by taking the average or some the from multiple trees you run network it's highly com- high complexity and deep learning for pattern recognition model with multiple layers that can capture complex pattern and interaction in data let's say num list kadar golachal you can try and see which one can perform better uh the other is data source for fraud detection the data the data that we are going to use for fraud detection might come from different sources these are the three examples the first one is internal source it is a transaction history user and user behavior data generated within the organization such as customer transaction record and behavioral data this data all came from the internal 
transaction history and the user behavior, the user information that we have, you know, that the company will have in their own internal data database. The external data is the credit score like you did last week or week five. Uh, the, you might use proud uh, somehow a proud column, but we didn't use it for proud detection purpose, but we might use that for credit scoring uh, and device information that are obtained from external source like this credit rated rating agency or device uh, fingerprinting service means that was fraudulent acts made of so worth information in order to now we might use that those data for our assets data data source for for detection third party data for detection service and blacklist the same company leon large specialized on uh, uh, yeah fraud and somehow data related to this miserable company, which can never be worth So, of course, I think we might easily guess there is an implementation challenge for the machine learning one or any fraud detection uh, techniques. The first one is the data quality. Since you're uh, especially for the machine learning one, since you are going to relay on the machine to predict the uh, uh, fraud, fraud, the transaction to be fraud or not, we have to uh, have accurate and relevant data. And the other one is we have the larger volume of data. Data we have uh, more the model can learn from and adapt to different patterns, and you should have. Uh, it's be, it's better to have quality and large volume of data. The other one is latency. That means, as you as you know, it, uh, these models should predict instantly, because if we if they have some latency related with this, the transaction might pass and some fraudulent acts might happen. So this is the one issue. Model maintenance regularly update my drag, retrain my drag a lot. No, nothing, nothing. So, to not to go on and not kind of remember data related challenge in only in order to rely on the machine learning special. This is pretty much what I have prepared for the introductory session. Uh, if you have any question in the session, you can share it. Now. Or do you have any question? That's just elementary on a background. I'm dying at level on a tunnel jammer. No, explore the marag demo. Basic on a trolley first. The position and does it matter? Go. Azano, do you have is this clear? Thank you. What about the others? Do you have uh, is there anyone? Yeah, Carlo. Yes, that uh, yeah, can lay no <laughs> Okay, <laughs> since it's uh, brief now, I'm the elementary now. I'm going to allow uh, you to If you don't have question, keep exploring and data on the web. We understand the more more That's the main thing on the machine learning project. Always and only So let's see. We can end the session here. Let me stop the recording and have a productive day.